So you want to level up restoration. Well, that's good because I'm going to show you. All right, first thing you're going to want to do is come up here to Dragon's Reach and come inside. And after we find Faringar, we will ask him what kind of books he has for sale. Where is he at? Where you at, fine guy? There you are. All right. What do you got for sale, Faringar? Now ask him for his books. And we're going to come down here to a spell called Fast Healing and Healing Hands. Those are the only two books you're going to need for today's guide, both methods. So now we're going to leave Dragon's Reach and travel a little bit higher to High Hrothgar, located here on the map. All right, and now that we're up here at High Hrothgar, we're going to come all the way through this door and through to the backyard. And now that we're up here, I'm sure you guys know where this is going. Surely not. We're going to come up here to where this storm is, go to our books, and learn the spells that we just bought. Go to our restoration spells, fast healing in one hand, healing in the other, and that should hurt us more than that. But we're on novice, so... Uh, you can pretty much do this as whatever level you are is what kind of difficulty you're going to want to have. You're not going to want to be on legendary or anything because that will knock you straight down. But let's tr put it on adept and it'll do a little bit more damage and we can kind of just heal at the same time. And if you have armor that costs nothing, like I'll show you how to get in this video, you can just sit here and hold healing down and it will slowly but surely heal you. Or you can just be a daredevil and get really 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 low and do fast healing over and over again like this it really doesn't matter i don't think one levels you up faster than the other but you never know so that is the very first method and you can do this also with equilibrium which is a rare uh, skill that i've shown you how to get in this video dang we got a lot of videos anywho let's go down here to the watt run stable you can do this with any gift horse along with your horse if you have one and if you don't have one you can buy one right here uh, local store hours are nine to five and he'll buy sell you one for a thousand gold now we're going to get on our horse and travel out of the way a little bit so nobody gets in our way and causes us to get a bounty. We'll just travel over here for the sake of this guide. I usually come up here into the mountains and we will stop right here, get off of our horse, and we're gonna come into our magic. And in this hand, the left hand, we're gonna do healing hands. And in the right hand, we're gonna do flames. Now that we've got these equipped, we're gonna go on ahead and just smack our horse. And now, on a depth difficulty, we're healing him so fast that we're not damaging him, but we are damaging him at the same time because he's a living creature. You'll see here in a second when it levels up for us. Restoration increases. So that means that destruction has to increase, but it takes a lot longer. And there you go, destruction increases also. So that's like a little two for one kind of a god. This god, however, is going to be completely useless unless you watch this video right here. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video, help get it out to more and more people. And don't forget to sub before we hit 5K. You want to be part of the pre-5K fam. Don't forget to read your Bibles today and please pray. It's very important. Hope you all have a blessed day. But above all else, thank you for your time. Peace out.